there's a very long history here that has to do with Metatronics, and it has to do with a being called Metatron, and it has to do with the Anu Elohim. When we get into Metatronics, Metatron, who is Metatron? Where did that word come from? <laughs> Metatron is the name of a family collective. It's a family collective out of an entity. Now, an entity is something above a rishi, the first level of ascended masters, consciousness collective. There's an entity called Giovanni. Giovanni was an entity in good standing, as most entities are. Giovanni was part of the collective that created the Christos founders races that seeded this time matrix 950 billion years ago. It was the groups of Elohim that were commissioned to Stargate 11, which was Avion in Lyra. They were commissioned as the guardians, the Christos, founders, guardians of Stargate 11 that became convoluted, code convoluted, which began their downfall, both genetically, template-wise, and of consciousness. That particular group were out of the entity called Giovanni. Because of the fall that took place, the genetic fall and the creation of the black hole that I'll talk about in a minute, it was created 250 billion years ago, the entity Giovanni fell. Because there's a law of physics that applies. If you are an ascended master being, you have your pieces up there, your parts of self stationed out of the time matrix. You send in X amount of energy of yourself into the matrix if you sent in, and most don't, but on occasion, as an ascended master collective will send in more than a natural proportion of its energy into the matrix, say for a salvage mission. If the salvage team you sent in goes down too, it takes the whole collective down. So there was an entity that fell as a result of what took place 250 billion years ago. 250 billion years ago, an event took place in the Lyra star system, the cradle of Lyra, with the Christos founders races, the races from Stargate 11, the guardians of Avion Gate 11, and the guardians of Gate 10, which is Vega Lyra, began to war with each other because both of them suffered code convolution. The Omicron Draconi Draconian races, who were of the Seraphi Seraphim, were the Gate 10 Guardians and a particular group out of the Geo Giovanni entity of Elohim were the Guardians of Gate 11. Both of them were getting a bit out of hand as far as taking a free will concept and literally turning it in on itself and becoming authoritarian because free will and authoritarian dictatorship do not go hand in hand. They are in direct opposition. Both of them began to play that game with each other. And after a while of the um, D11 Elohim pushing the Draconians around, the Draconians managed to evolve in a certain way that they were a bit stronger. So they began to take back territory. They began to push back. And at this point, the Elohim commissioned High Council, which were the ones who were guardians, the Elohim, the Elahi Elohim, who were guardians of Gate 12, and they said, these guys are out of control. We want you to destroy them. And we said, excuse me, we don't destroy anybody. By the way, did you notice that you've been out of control for a while too? <laughs> Why don't we all sit down and figure out how we can help both of you heal? They didn't like that answer. They threatened High Council that if you don't destroy them, we'll destroy them. And not only that, we will destroy your gate and you as well. And we will take over the matrix. That was a very sick decision to make. It was a choice that was made because they had an idea these were creator god people. These were Elohim that knew just almost as much as the other Elohim. They knew that if Source could create using the um, template that we talked about yesterday in the Dance Floor programs, where you have 15 spheres, well, what if you took just seven? They knew there was a way to bend the mathematics, which would bend the light and the sound 
and the scalar waves into a form that could actually repel itself and cut itself off from the natural matrix. It would still exist within the entire matrix, but it would be their own system. They decided they wanted to turn this time matrix into that, which was a direct violation of something called the Emerald Covenant. The Emerald Covenant was the original agreement that the Yanis Ascended Masters agreed upon when they decided to create this time matrix together. It was a free will system, and it was built upon the law of one, 